cheesecake day. It sounded like I said cheesecake. But I don't think it's cheesecake day and cheese steak day on Sunday. Although, wouldn't that be cool? That'd be a yeah. nice time, though. Well, we have people who actually come in and they'll look at the TV, their monitor, and be like, can I get a cheesecake with, <laughs> it happens at least once a day. Does, do you yeah. correct them or do you let them just, I okay, usually giggle for the most pass. part. They figure it out before oh, I get a chance great. to. And I, I usually ignore it anymore. I, I, don't want them, I don't want them to feel bad. Well, <laughs> it's in the kitchen okay. with Christina and Donnie from Hoagies and Hops. All right, yeah. big celebration. Uh, year number six that you're doing this, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I opened my shop eight years ago, but since I've been in the neighborhood of Butler Tarkington, um, every National Cheese Steak Day on March 24th, I donate. 15% of our food sales. Plus, we partner with Chili Water Brewing Company. So they, yes. at the tap room there that we're partnered with there on 42nd and Boulevard, they also donate 15% of their beer sales. So, That's so awesome. And people who don't know Hoagies and Hops, you know, I grew up outside of the Philly area, but my rolls are shipped in from South Jersey. My cold cuts are shipped in from Philly, PA Dutch country. A lot of family recipes from my family that's all from that area. Licio's Bakery is the reason I opened my shop. I could get their rolls shipped in from South Jersey, and that's the number so, one ingredient. I mean, listen to that. This is authentic. This people. is authentic. This, this is, is real. This is authentic, and I know that that's what's really important yes. to you as well. Yes. Um, Donnie's here. He's cooking away. Uh, yeah. National cheese steak. Christine, I'm going to let you narrate um, okay. for what he did here. So, yeah, what he's doing here is we got a shaved ribeye and whiz wit. So, wit referring Ooh, to the those. fried onions. So, we offer several different cheeses but I've had people actually say that cheese was has changed their life. Wow, so we had to oh, at least funny. have that one today. But we offer Cooper cheese, which is a strong American. We also have a regular American provolone cheese. Age. We also have vegan uh, vegan options, vegetarian options, yeah. and cold hoagies. And all the food, not just the cheesesteak, will be a part of the donation. Oh, so oh, if so you're not, not a big cheesesteak, cheese yep, so you can be a vegan right. and come get in a vegan so Italian sausage. you have sausage. no excuse. No excuse. Come. Yes. And help out this. And it's a Sunday. And it's a, a Sunday. Sunday. So what are you doing on a Sunday? You That's know, come by right. in the afternoon. Lunch, dinner will be open 11 a.m. to 9 yeah. p.m. Does and it matter if it's like a dine-in carry-out type? It of It can be dine-in or carry-out. Okay. Now, just you know, we've. It is one of our biggest days of the year. Yeah. So be so prepared. Be maybe prepared. Yeah, lines. you might be waiting, but you know, who's in a rush, right? It's a Sunday. See, I so like the So take your time. You who's have in a rush? beer at the bar. Have a glass of wine. There you know. Go. And but yeah, so this has been a great thing for us, and we're hoping. Been to hit over a thousand dollars this year. Over a thousand dollars. You mentioned the chili water as well. That's what we're yep. seeing here with the can. Yes, chili water. Uh, this, they have several different ones on tap. They have cans to go as well. So we have growler fills that we can do. But yeah, we hope everyone come out and enjoy it. And, uh, oh, look at this! Definitely gonna... a little hard to pull it off of a frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a little. But tricky. yeah, come out and try the Italian hoagie. Try a cheesesteak. Um, we have different sizes. We also have a smaller size than this. Oh, okay. And we also have kids' meals. Oh, and we're well, located nice. in the Butler Tarkenton neighborhood, so now, 42nd and Boulevard. Very quickly, he's putting yep. this one together, but yes. this looks a little different. What's oh, this here? is a vegetarian option. So oh. it's not vegan, but this is our broccoli rob sauteed with different veggies, Italian oil, oh, sharp provolone. Yeah, so that's a fun one. And these eggs look fun. Oh, yeah, Red Beet. <laughs> very Pennsylvania Dutch. All right, so how are you going to eat this? Go for it. it oh, man. You. Oh, man. I don't even have anyone here. here to help me out. This <laughs> sounds like it's all me. It is all you. Yeah, you take a nice See, this is what's bite. fun. The, the, everybody has to get a close up of the, the host being all messy. You can do this with me, Donnie, or? Sure. Go for it. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's very hot. What do you think? Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> oh, not Oh, yes. Oh, and it's supposed to be really gross. messy and hot. <laughs> Yeah, Gosh. come on out. National Cheesesteak Day this Sunday. Ma'am, you're not lying. What is it about that cheese? I know, right? I mean, people, there's a love-hate with the cheese whiz, but I say, don't knock it till you try it. Man, Donnie's going for it. He's brave. I need <laughs> like, like I'm a mama, you know, I'm like, hey, don't eat that yet. How do we got to go? Okay, you guys are not going anywhere. We're going to catch up with you again coming up at the end of the show. So I good. think I could cut this in half and maybe give you the other side. All right, <laughs> let's continue the conversation. We're going to finish the show over in with Donnie and Christina with Hoagies and Hops. Uh, Donnie, what do you think? My sandwich is probably cooled off now. I can probably fully eat that. I think we're good to go. Yeah. All right, and uh, he's made another one here, Kayla. Ooh, what's this one? Yeah, so this one's going to have Cooper American. Uh, which we just recently were able to get within the past year, which is pretty popular out on the East Coast. It originally started in the Philly area, and then a company in Wisconsin bought them. So oh. that's where they're based out of now. But Cooper American is actually a sharp American. Oh, It's very good. Um, so what he's making here is the shaved ribeye with the sweet bells, which the sweets are my favorite uh, pepper. It's basically red and green peppers and a sweet brine. 
And you'll see them yeah, a lot out in the, on the East Coast, especially even on like Italian hoagies and cheesesteaks. So, uh, but yeah, he's making a Cooper Wit and uh, Wit. sweets. So good. And your yes. bread is so good too. What's yeah. the secret to a really good yeah. bread? Well, I so the, cool. the rolls are shipped in from South Jersey and just about anybody from the East Coast would say, you know, it's basically the water out there between like New no. York. Like even if you go into like a pizzeria, you mm -hmm. know, out in New York or in Philly, it's going to smell different. There's something mm -hmm. with the, um, the way the yeast, you know, and the minerals yeah. of the water actually come about. But yeah, so the rolls are shipped in from South Jersey. Never would have opened if I couldn't have gotten them. Yeah, and so cool. yes, they are amazing. Every time I bite into one, because I try not to eat too much of it. <laughs> but when I do, I'm like, oh stop? my goodness, mm -hmm. this is why I love Christina, it so much. Christina, before we, we wrap this up and let you go, give me the details yes. yet again on how okay. people can be a part. Yeah, so National Cheesesteak Day. It's real easy. Come out on Sunday. We open from 11 to 9. Mm -hmm. Buy anything off our menu, not just the cheesesteak. And 15% yeah. of those sales are going to be donated to our neighborhood rec family center which is the MLK Center, and that also includes chili water beer mm -hmm. that is at our uh, tap What is it about the Family Center that's so important for you to give back to every year? So, you said this is the sixth year yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, uh, working with the community and being a part of the neighborhood is very Go important it, to me. <laughs> and, you know, the MLK Center and what they do for youth development and for the families and yeah. just giving them the tools they need. Um, for a successful life and know that there's other opportunities out there for them. It's fantastic. So I love, I love to be a part of them. They're it's fantastic. honestly Kayla. worth burning your mouth over. Yeah. It's so, so good. what do you think? I want to know how you have a record-breaking self-control. I mean, <laughs> you're tiny. <laughs> How do you not eat these for breakfast, well, so lunch, and dinner? I know. But, well, in the tuna salad, though, it, you'll usually, if people come to see me, like, I'll be snacking. It's my mom's recipe. So okay. the tuna, like I said, a lot of his family recipes, I'll be known to, like, have my scoops of tuna. <laughs> but I, if I ate this every day, first of all, that eats my profits, right? But then, <laughs> second of all, yes, I would be huge. So. Oh, <laughs> but you've got I mean, Donnie nice. even started eating salads now. So, oh, well, you know, there it's you hard go. to not eat this bread. Well, hey, I, I, mean, see, I see pickles moderation. Yes. and some eggs. Eggs, maybe so, some good potato salad. Well, and that's the other thing. We do a vegan, vegetarian plus. If you're looking for something low carb, I know I brought it here before. I do pickle hoagies. So you can take a Dietz and Watson, a whole, and Dietz and Watson's a Philly brand. We'll carve it out, and you can put any cheesesteak, any hoagie on a pickle. Wait, that sounds really we good. Also, and we also have salads too. You can have any sa sandwich. People do cheesesteak on salads. So yeah. So yeah, there's definitely really? options and opportunities for everybody. If you're looking, you know, save a little bit on your carb and maybe have a vice. You'd rather yeah. have a chili water beer and have a salad. Hey, there you go. And you said dine in or carry out. Dine but in do or carry be out. Prepared. Make it a chill kind of day because you might be waiting in line just a little yeah, bit. But it's it all be. for a really great cause. And also on the phone, just you know, take keep calling back. Get there one you phone go. Line. Thank so, yeah. you so much. Keep Thank you for back. having us. These are delicious. I think our lunch is covered. Yeah, I think so too. When, like, they're <laughs> super cooled off. So they're yeah. so good to go. I love it. One more bite. Yep, National Cheese Day Day this Sunday. Cheers. Come celebrate with us. Cheers, Kayla. And guys, thank you so much. We appreciate you, everything that you're doing. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. Go out and support these guys. Yes. On Sunday, National Cheese Day Day. We'll see you back here. Thanks, at guys. Night. All for a great cause. <laughs> All right, let's continue the conversation. We're going to finish the show over in with Donnie and Christina with Hoagies and Hops. Uh, Donnie, what do you think? My sandwich is probably cooled off now. I can probably fully eat that. I think we're good to go. Yeah. All right, and uh, he's made another one here, Kayla. Ooh, what's this one? Yeah, so this one's going to have Cooper American, uh, which we just recently were able to get within the past year, which is pretty popular out on the East Coast. It originally started in the Philly area, and then a company in Wisconsin bought them. So oh. that's where they're based out of now. But Cooper American is actually a sharp American. Oh, It's very good. Um, so what he's making here is the shaved ribeye with the sweet bells, which the sweets are my favorite uh, pepper. It's basically red and green peppers and a sweet brine. And you'll see them a lot oh, out in the, on the East Coast, especially even on like Italian hoagies and cheesesteaks. So, uh, but yeah, he's making a Cooper Wit and uh, sweets. So good. And your yes. bread is so good too. What's yeah. the secret to a really good bread? Well, so the, the cool. rolls are shipped in from South Jersey, and just about anybody from the East Coast would say, you know, it's basically the water out there between like New no. York. Like, even if you go into like a pizzeria, you mm. know, out in New York or in Philly, it's going to smell different. There's something mm. with the, um, the way the yeast, you know, and the minerals yeah. of the water actually come about. But yeah, so. 
The rolls are shipped in from South Jersey. Never would have opened if I couldn't have gotten them. Yeah, and so cool. yes, they are amazing. Every time I bite into one, because I try not to eat too much of it. <laughs> but when I do, I'm like, oh stop? my goodness, mm -hmm. this is why I love Christina, it so much. Christina, before we, we wrap this up and let you go, give me the details yes. yet again on how okay. people can be a part. Yeah, so National Cheesesteak Day. It's really easy. Come out on Sunday. We open from 11 to 9. Mm -hmm. Buy mm -hmm. anything off our menu, not just the cheesesteak. And 15% yeah. of those sales are going to be donated to our neighborhood rec family center which is the MLK Center, and that also includes chili water mm -hmm. beer that is at our uh, tap room. What is it about the Family Center that's so important for you to give back to every so, year? You said this is the sixth year yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, uh, working with the community and being a part of the neighborhood is very Go important to me. <laughs> and, you know, the MLK Center, what they do for youth development and for the families and yeah. just giving them the tools they need. Um, for a successful life and know that there's other opportunities out there for them. It's fantastic. So I love, I love to be a part of them. They're it's fantastic. honestly Kayla. worth burning your mouth over. Yeah. It's so, so good. what do you think? I want to know how you have a record-breaking self-control. I mean, <laughs> you're tiny. <laughs> How do you not eat these for breakfast, well, so lunch, and dinner? I know. But, well, in the tuna salad, though, it, you'll usually have people come to see me. Like, I'll be snacking. It's my mom's recipe. So okay. the tuna, like I said, a lot of his family recipes. I'll be known to, like, have my scoops of tuna. <laughs> but I, if I ate this every day, first of all, that eats my profits, right? But then, <laughs> second of all, yes, I would be huge. So. Oh, man. But you've got I mean, Donnie size. even started eating salads now. So, oh, well, you know, there it's you hard go. to not eat this bread. Well, hey, I, I mean, see, I see pickles yes. and some eggs. Maybe so, some good potato salad. Well, and that's the other thing. We do a vegan, vegetarian plus. If you're looking for something low carb, I know I brought it here before. I do pickle hoagies. So you can take a Dietz and Watson, a whole, and Dietz and Watson's a Philly brand. We'll carve it out, and you can put any cheesesteak, any hoagie on a pickle. Wait, that sounds really we good. Also, and we also have salads, too. You can have any sa sandwich. People do cheesesteak on salads. So, yeah. So, yeah, there's definitely yeah. options and opportunities for everybody. If you're looking, you know, save a little bit on your carb and maybe have a vice. You'd rather yeah. have a chili water beer and have a salad. Hey, there you go. And you said dine in or carry out. Dine but in do or carry out. Prepared. Make it a chill kind of day because you might be waiting in line just a little yeah, bit. But it's it all be. for a really great time. And also on the phone, just you know, take keep calling back. Get there more you phone go. Line. Thank so, yeah. you so much. Thank you, you for back. having us. These are delicious. I think our lunch is covered. Yeah, I think so too. Really <laughs> like they're super cooled off. So they're <laughs> yes. so good to go. I love it. One more bite. Yep, National mm -hmm. Cheese Day Day this Sunday. Cheers. Come celebrate with us. Cheers, Kayla. And guys, thank you so much. We appreciate you, everything that you're doing. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. Go out and support these guys. Yes. On Sunday, National Cheese Day Day. We'll see you back here. Thanks, guys. Day. All for a great cause. <laughs> All right, let's continue the conversation. We're going to finish the show over in with Donnie and Christina with Hoagies and Hops. Uh, Donnie, what do you think? My sandwich is probably cooled off now. I can probably fully eat that. I think we're good to go. Yeah. All right, and uh, he's made another one here, Kayla. Ooh, what's this one? Yeah, so this one's going to have Cooper American, uh, which we just recently were able to get within the past year, which is pretty popular out on the East Coast. It originally started in the Philly area, and then a company in Wisconsin bought them. So oh. that's where they're based out of now. But Cooper American is actually a sharp American. Oh. It's very good. Um, so what he's making here is the shaved ribeye with the sweet bells, which the sweets are my favorite uh, pepper. It's basically red and green peppers and a sweet brine. And you'll see them a lot out in the, on the East Coast, especially even on like Italian hoagies and cheesesteaks. So, uh, but yeah, he's making a Cooper Wit and uh, Cooper sweets. Wits. So good. And your yes. bread is so good too. What's yeah. the secret to a really good bread? Well, I so the, cool. the rolls are shipped in from South Jersey, and just about anybody from the East Coast would say, you know, it's basically the water out there between like New no. York. Like, even if you go into like a pizzeria, you mm. know, out in New York or in Philly, it's going to smell different. There's something mm. with the, um, the way the yeast, you know, and the minerals yeah. of the water actually come about. But yeah, so. The rolls are shipped in from South Jersey. Never would have opened if I couldn't have gotten them. Yeah, and so cool. yes, they are amazing. Every time I bite into one, because I try not to eat too much of it. <laughs> but when I do, I'm like, oh stop? my goodness, mm -hmm. this is why I love Christina, it so much. Christina, before we, we wrap this up and let you go, give me the details yes. yet again on how okay. people can be a part. Yeah, so National Cheesesteak Day.